Aloha everybody, Michael Everard here. I wanted to talk today about judgment. Matthew 7, 1, judge not that ye be not judged. What does that mean to you? What I experienced today was quite an important lesson. There was many things that I learned. It all centered around a little bird hatchling that I found on the ground. It was still alive and I immediately thought about what it is that I should do. My first thought was to put it out of its misery. My second thought was to try to climb a palm tree and put it back in the nest. It wasn't until later that somebody offered the idea of potentially keeping it alive. And That thought didn't cross my mind. And what I did was what I felt was the most merciful thing to do and put it out of its misery. I did not relish that. I cried after I did it and It was, it was quite horrible. I posted about this experience and even added the, uh, an addendum talking about how I didn't think about this other option and ask for forgiveness. And somebody responded with a very condemning uh, comment and called me a sicko. So that stung, but knowing that I did what I felt was right I didn't let it bother me for very long. I did do an addendum post to the original one and talked about judgment. And when we judge others harshly, we're not being very compassionate because what we're doing is we are deciding that their life, their choices, their beliefs, and their understanding is, is wrong. It's evil. It's sick or twisted. If you're an empath, you can feel another's energy. If you have telepathic abilities and you can read their mind, that's great too. But to really know what's in somebody's heart is unknowable because you experience life through your own perception and you're not able to know, fully understand how another being feels. So if you judge another harshly and you 
condemn them. You will bring that judgment back to yourself. Because the condemnation will not make you feel better. <laughs> you're going to feel angry, you're going to feel frustrated, and it's going to gnaw at you. That, that pain that you're feeling when you judge another is deserving and just, just because it's it's God letting you know that it is not for you to judge. God loves us unconditionally. All of these experiences that are occurring from the most horrible and disgusting to the most enjoyable, beautiful, and peaceful, and everything in between happen for a reason. All of these experiences are tests of faith. What is the lesson? The lesson is simple. Love all. Love your neighbor. Love your enemy. Love those who are the most destructive. For you know not what is in their hearts. The next time you feel disgust, anger, frustration, or disdain for another being, find it in your heart to love them. If you want to know why they did what they did and better understand them, find out by asking questions and you'll discover why they do what they do. If you're not interested in better understanding someone, you can love them and move on. Having faith is a trust that there is divine order that's occurring. And the misperception of chaos and us being disconnected is really part of the process. So love one another. Find basic respect and appreciation for these processes that are occurring, especially when you don't understand why they are happening. And you'll find yourself more peaceful more often. So, I love you guys. Namaste.